Hey guys, welcome to this Rugby Bricks video. Today we are talking about the brand new Rugby Bricks goal kicking journal. In this journal you'll be able to organise your goal kicking technique, understand the 10 pillars of goal kicking that I've come up with to help guide players and help coach their technique and really get a good understanding so that we can problem solve on the field, come up with those quick fixes and all those solutions. If we understand our technique, when we start to miss our kicks or things aren't going so well, we really do have quick fixes and we can understand what cue we need to work on to help get that ball going through the post again. Let's jump straight into the details of the Rugby Bricks 10 Pillars of Goal Kicking Journal. If you are new to the Rugby Bricks channel, please subscribe. This is where we put all our long form content, the coaching cues, the tips, the things that you can use as a player and a coach, and also share with teammates all the videos, drills and skills that we get through. So please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so for this video I have set up a second camera as you can see here I'll be able to show you guys through the pages you'll be able to see some of the details that are really important within the journal. So the first page that I've landed on is pillar number two which is all about our ball setup. Now nothing in this book is set in stone, they're all ideas and things for you to experiment with and trial out within your own goal kicking technique. I have got a lot of experience and coached a lot of players and tried a lot of things myself as a player so these are all the things that I've been through, tried out and I've got a really good understanding of what does work when you're trying to work out your own ball setup. So on each of these resource pages you'll get an explanation of what I'm thinking and what I think is really important when it comes to a ball setup and at the end here you see you've got a little bit of room so that you can write down your ball setup and what you're trying to achieve at the moment. So from that ball setup page we jump straight into our sessions. Now after each pillar there's 50 sessions in here that you can enter in each of your details. So there's a date and location, it's really cool to look back when you go through your kicking journal later on in life or later on in the season you can see what days and whereabouts you are kicking. Often things change or you might go to a different city, a different country and it's really cool to look at your book and go back through where you've actually had your kicking sessions. From here you just enter in a little bit of detail about the session. I'm not about overthinking things but I think when we do document it we can understand trends and things that are happening within our goal kicking understanding that one day I was hitting the ball really well I was getting a really good ball flight the next day I was undercutting the ball I wasn't getting a good contact and you can understand some of the trends and when you're documenting them you can come up with solutions on okay today I'm going to try fix that by setting my ball up slightly different and I'll see how that works after 10 sessions you've got a good understanding of whether that's working you can continue you on along that path. So after you've entered in your 50 goal kicking sessions you come to a field map. Now I was constantly drawing rugby fields and having conversations with coaches so what I thought would do is add in a field map so that you can start drawing some lines maybe where you're kicking from your favourite goal kicking session. It's really good to have a rugby field in your book so that when you're talking about exit kicks or maybe box kicks, grubber kicks, uh, conversations that you're having with coaches or kicking coaches you can start writing them in drawing arrows and it's a really good visual for you to come back to and understand your detail on that field map. So after you've used that field map we have left a blank page, this is where you can write down a meeting, maybe a conversation with a kicking coach, just some longer form detail in here. But from there we get into our 10 pillars of goal kicking and this is probably the most important page of the whole book after each of the 50 session blocks. So you get a chance here to write down all your detail and what you're currently focusing on. So you've got 10 pages of these throughout the book that you can constantly come back to revisit and make little changes. So mindset, ball setup long target, approach, rodeo arm, plant foot, kicking foot, foot and hips, momentum, stay in the kick and also parking kicks to how we can deal with when we're missing kicks and those little fixes, how we can wipe a kick if we do miss it and get on with the other jobs as a rugby player on the field. Now the cool thing about this after every 50 sessions you get a chance to revisit this, make little changes and as I've mentioned before about those little trends, if you've changed something with your ball setup, your approach, maybe a rodeo arm focus or something to do with your kicking foot, it, you can document that in here and then when you come back to it again in 50 sessions you can make those little changes and what we're doing is starting to get a really rock solid technique that we know works because we've done the hours we've done all those sessions and we can really trust our technique there is no better feeling than standing at the back of the mark having 100% uh, trust and focus in your own goal kicking technique 
One of my favorite goal kicking pillars is the rodeo arm. It was a concept that I came up with. I wanted a coaching cue that we could give players that was really obvious and made sense. And of course, rodeo arm does make a lot of sense when you explain it to a kicker, just like a bull rider on the back of a bull trying to get that balance through that rodeo arm. We can do the same and also get a little bit more power and distance by using our rodeo arm effectively. So on this pillar, I talk about what we're wanting our rodeo arm doing pre-impact and also on impact and post impact of the ball. So that's why these detail pages are so valuable for you as a kicker. One pillar that I do want to touch on is pillar number 11. Now yes we call it the 10 pillars of goal kicking but there is a really important pillar number 11 that is often overlooked when it comes to kicking and coaching kicking. It's what do we do when we're missing kicks. So I call it parking kicks. Having dealt with that kick we've missed it. How are we going to park this kick? So what I used to do with my goal kicking technique if, if I did miss a kick as I was running back across halfway I'd come up with why. So whether it was my ball set up, I did something funny on my approach or it was just something out of my control a big gust of wind or I just didn't quite get the plan right on that kick when I got back to then receive the kickoff before that kickoff would happen I'd bend down and wipe my boot so that physical act of wiping my boot just meant that I parked the kick the kick was gone I had to get on with my other jobs for the team of playing first five and directing the team around you can't just be uh, really disappointed in thinking about that kick you have to move on with your other tasks so that you can get back and into the game and feeling good and getting that positive snowball going again. So we talk about parking kicks and I ask you guys to write down a little tactic of how you're going to deal with that in games. From there I've left plenty of blank pages for you to write down, draw pictures, there's plenty of space in there for you guys to go crazy with pictures, diagrams and other thoughts that are coming into head around your kicking game. So guys that's the Rugby Bricks 10 Pillars of Goal Kicking Kicking Journal. It's something that had such a big impact on my kicking and really helped me get organised and again gave me that trust when I was standing at the back of a mark in a big game in a big moment I knew that the hours the time the energy that I'd put had all been documented and I loved going back through this book I've still got it it's really cool to go back and see all my friends my family's fellow kickers that I'd work with they're all in the diaries all their names are in there I promise you you'll never regret starting one of these goal kicking kicking journals so they are available from our website I know you guys will love this journal use it and really benefit from having one all the links are below thanks so much again please subscribe to the rugby bricks youtube channel it really does help us keep moving forward keep creating this style of content i'll see you next time